So, <clears throat> Loft House is becoming a distant memory, and we're heading towards Scar Hill, uh, sorry, Scar House. Um, now, there are two problems. Um, one problem is, uh, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> The second problem is that the mud down this particular part of the track is horrendous. I am rather hoping that this isn't a direct uh, route that we then have to walk back along um, because I didn't enjoy it first time and I'm really not going to enjoy it second time. So I'm hoping that this is a loop rather than a straight line there and back again. The trees on the other hand are absolutely spectacular and these trees are sycamore and there are a great many of these huge sycamore trees around this area uh, flowing alongside this growing alongside this river which is still the nid overflow I believe sycamores are interesting because although you don't see quite as many of them as you might see uh, beech and oak uh, they do grow into enormous trees. They also tend to have um, uh, the bottom of their trunks obscured. These don't, but often they do because their seeds have a nasty tendency to grow on firm ground. I mean, they don't really need soil or anything to grow in. And so what often happens is the seeds will fall onto the ground and or onto the bit just you know the bottom of the tree and start growing on the parent tree and so you get a load of tiny saplings that form a sort of funny like twiggy uh, frill at the bottom and reaching halfway up the trunk and they never manage to reach full maturity for obvious reasons but they often stay alive as a couple of large twigs it's most bizarre sycamore trees are one of the few things that will grow in the uh, the masonry waste yard that is Markenfield on my front terrace Less than a metre below the ground is a lot of masonry rubble from the building of the houses. It was a common practice in the 80s to dispose of your waste when building by put burying it in the garden. They don't do that anymore and they didn't do that before. It was this silly little point in time where they built quite a lot and that of course affects the soil quality and stops a lot of things growing but these sycamore trees I have a sycamore, a quite a young sycamore tree in fact opposite uh, me and because of the way the wind blows it's a bit of a wind tunnel in fact along uh, Markenfield and the entire contents of this tree in the fall gets blown across the road and deposited on the uh, Martinfield Terrace and you'll often get two or three saplings per month attempting to grow. Um, I have dug them up and thrown them away but what I'm probably going to start to do very shortly is bind them as small saplings and give them away to friends <laughs> so uh, yeah yeah I can see you I can see you um, because I don't like killing them but I'm not going to let them grow obviously so binding them of course will stop them from being able to grow very big uh, but trust me they won't stop them growing so we're on our way to uh, 
to see what we can see. The path hasn't really improved much, although now we've got more fields, so it's slightly better. Just noticed that looks like it could have been um, an open cast mine of some sort, perhaps a stone quarry, which wouldn't surprise me um, because if if the scar house dam is somewhere around here and I can hear water dropping from a great height which sounds like it might be around that <laughs> well, I don't want to say hill in case I have to walk up it but around that uh, slope there um, it could well have been mined for that Now that is quite picturesque, isn't it? That little uh, tributary there. I've got to keep going because I'm being followed by more walkers, so. There are little picturesque bits along this route, but so far, I would say the views are not worth the, the slurry, basically that you have to wade through to get here. So I'll have to see if my view changes when we get to the dam. This is the water coming down from that tributary, but everything upstream from there is completely dry. Well. Let's have a look at this. This is absolutely amazing. This is like a, a riverless gorge. In fact, you, know, you can see the big whoops, the slumps, everything. Entrance. It looks like a roof. 